Welcome to Super Sisney Studios. I'm your host, Alex Sisney, and today I'm going to show you how to load film into a 35mm SLR camera. Now, what you need to do is you need to get a roll of film. Right here I have a roll of Ilford plus 125 speed film. Now, the 125 speed of the film refers to the size of the grain of the film. 125 is a relatively slow speed film. The grain particles on the film are fairly small, which means when you print this film, you're going to get a very fine image. If you think of it in terms of pixels, this is like having a 7 megapixel camera. It's pretty good, and you get a pretty fine picture with this kind of film. Now, there's other kinds of film and other speeds. This is 3200 speed film. That means it's a very fast film, which means this film is very light sensitive. It picks up light very well. You can use it indoors and for fast motion. But the particles of grain on the film are very large. So when you print this film, you're going to get a very grainy picture. And it's like having a 3 megapixel camera. Now, this other roll of film is Ilford Pan 50 speed film, which means the particles are even smaller than the 125. And this is a very fine grained film. It's like having a 10 or 11 megapixel camera. So this is a really nice film. The thing is, the slower speed, the slower the speed the film is, um, the less light sensitive the grain particles are. So you can probably only use this film outside or inside with strobes or flashes. Right. So now I'm going to load this Ilford 125 speed film into my camera. So the first thing I need to do is take the film out of the box and take my film cassette out of the little plastic container. All right. To open your camera, what you do is you lift up the rewind lever and you, when you get it halfway up, you want to pull it up a little bit further and the back of the camera is going to pop open. What I do is I flip my camera up on end and I take my film and I take the leader of the film, and the leader is the L-shaped part of the film. I take the leader of the film, and I stick it into the slot on the far end of the camera, and I pull the film across the camera. And the film's going to fall into the slot. Alright. So now I have my film stuck into the slot at the end of the camera. My film cassette in this side of the camera. Now what I want to do is I want to make sure my sprockets of the film are lined up with the cogs of the camera and I'm going to advance my film forwards once. Now your film might not catch right away. My film didn't catch there. So I'm going to try again. I'm going to put my film into the edge of the camera. Make sure my film is caught into the sprockets. There we go. And we'll advance it once. Now you can see that the film is caught in the sprockets on both sides and the film is wrapped around the camera once. What we do is close the back of the camera, push down my rewind lever, and advance my camera until so my frame counter reads either 1 or 0. It depends on the brand, the brand of the camera. Now, if you're not sure if you the film was caught into the camera and you're not sure if you're winding the film forwards, what you can do is you can test it. And you do that by flipping up the rewind lever and spinning it backwards. Now, you'll probably be able to spin it backwards five or six times, but eventually it should start getting really tight and you won't be able to push the rewind lever any further. And I can feel the pressure right now against rewind lever. That means the film is caught firmly over here. And if you don't test or make sure the film's caught, you'll be very disappointed when you when you shoot your camera, you're going to get to like 30 exposures, 50 exposures with a 25 exposure roll of film. And you'll be like, why am I going to 30 exposures? And that's because your film wasn't caught firmly over here.